Hey, yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Twitter here. Today, we will be talking about something that I think horrifies uh, both me and you as a viewer that I have been playing this game for way too long. But without further ado, my account review, a Lost Ark that I've been playing for the last couple of years. Now, if you see the top left, it says 8,000 something something hours. And yes, this is a lot. And hopefully part of it is AFK because if I would put this into hourly wages, I would be having a small house. Now, the biggest question is what do these 8,000 hours translate to? And I will be going over a quick review of my account and see what I got within this tank. Now, starting off with my main six, it will be Hunger Reaper, Empress Arcana, which might change to Emperor. Then we got Full Musul Eater, gunslinger and no it's not a time to hunt we got ourselves a remaining energy death blade because search sucks i hate search for a uh, i don't know i i just have a hate hate relationship with that and we got ourselves a asura breaker which might turn into a bk because oh my god it looks fantastic but here is also one of the things that i would like to emphasize on straight away when building a roster I have only one tip, find yourself characters that you like, that you do enjoy, because otherwise this game turns into a chore. If you have characters and you're chasing the buffed meta, then this game is not for you, because the thing that will happen, either your characters will be nerfed, new characters will be coming out, and you will be chasing your own tail and i have one of the prime examples and that was my glavier now if you see the amount of glaviers that are currently being played especially when it comes to pinnacle glavier they're not a lot when they got buffed everybody was a glavier all of a sudden and i was one of them and to this day i really regret it because pinnacle i haven't even touched it anymore i turned this into control as fast as possible because then i kind of do enjoy the class but not to a point where i want to have this into my main six however i've been thinking about getting her to tier four because with the extra skill i was like oh whoa this looks suddenly interesting because it alleviates all of her problems and she gets stronger within the process so she definitely looked appealing but not as much as the first six did so once again emphasis get yourself characters that you do enjoy another thing that i would like to emphasize on i am a light spinner i spend over about probably 1 to 1.5k into this game then again i don't play any other console games because that used to be one of the things that got my wallet drained massively so here's the thing what does this give you into an account i got myself the main character 16 37 point a little bit and i've invested this one the most however if i do have to translate a few things we got ourselves a 98 now this was fun because i made a damn mistake getting this character to a, a 96 weapon then went to the event shop went and bought myself pirate tokens that i didn't know would be bound after buying them guess what i then tried anyway and got this one onto a 98 so that was quite fun i was happy with the result but even more fun we got ourselves a bracelet which is pretty pretty nice got ourselves a double line and the dexterity oh man if this would have been a wedge oh oh it would have been so good but even better we got ourselves a eight nine stone ready for tier four i got this probably i don't know even a year back i was very happy and excited when this happened but now something that really needs emphasis on and that is i don't have a character with a full level 10 gems and here's why if you look at the current prices they drop from a level 4 damage gem 440k to about 250 so that is a rapid decline where i thought to myself yeah you can transfer them to other characters and they pretty much hold their value a lot but i thought to myself if a season three would ever come out even if a tier four comes out something will happen and that will drastically decline my characters now obviously if you get full level 10 gems your damage drastically increases you will get invited into pretty much every single team but here is the question is it necessary and what i find is this character yes it does get declined a little bit into the highest rate but not by default which means that this is enough for me to get anywhere right and this also where i will make a complete separate video about gatekeeping on how i dealt with it i thought to myself 
What I want to do with increasing my account, it is not necessarily that I deal more damage. No, what I want to do is I want to reduce the time and the amount of time that I spend within, let's say, the party finder, have as much fun as possible, uh, play my characters to an utmost degree where I'm not sitting down doing nothing, right? So I want to be invited as fast as possible. Now, a few things that you could think about is how would I set up my characters? If you want to have your bracelets, for instance, now you can only roll so many specialization bracelets until you're sick of it. Now, if you would look at my characters, this swiftness, this one could be a swiftness, but is specialization. This is another specialization. Then we got ourselves a crit, a crit character, and then we got ourselves a, another specialization. Now, the benefit for this is if you spread them out evenly, then you will be able to roll all of the bracelets, not just a few of them, and you will be able to give very specific ones to all of them. Now, this also increases your, your overall account damage, and uh, which is one of the reasons why I might shift a little bit here and there. Because my BK Breaker uh, is not a BK Breaker, but it might turn that into Tier 4. Now, that will ultimately mean that Oh, I need another specialization bracelet. And guess what? Is there another character on the specialization side that I can switch from? And my Arcana, I have been thinking of switching her to Emperor for pretty much all of the time. Now this, I've tried it out, definitely enjoyed it. This obviously resulted in a little bit of luck and luxury, but this is also one of those characters that has a double stat, which isn't ultimately the best but it's another double stat which ultimately i think will get you into parties a little bit faster another beauty of mine uh, was a 88 but with the newest event turned into a 100 i did not expect this to happen but am i happy yes especially because gunsling in the tier 4 is going to be godly then six and nine stone and i have been lucky that i have been saving up all of my stones and rolling them occasionally then turning these things in now over time with eight thousand hours these things do just happen it didn't cost me an infion so it is so marvelous if you're a hoarder like me now one of the things that people make fun of on my streams are how my inventories look like like, I genuinely wonder how many people would vomit at the amount of things that are happening within these inventories. But, but ultimately, if that results into these kinds of stones, then by any means, talk to me about it. I don't want to seek help. You need to. Now, if I would have to put this to the extremes, then <laughs> this is one of those beauties that I made. Triple line sadly did not have any swiftness. So yeah, it could be debated whether this one is good or not. But yeah, having a triple liner <laughs> is absolutely insane. And once again, I didn't pay a single peon for any of my bracelets. And that is just trying to roll everything that you can find, anything that looks remotely interesting and just try to find whatever works for you. Another thing that I really do enjoy within these 8,000 hours of my account is having characters that I spend time on and got their looks to a unique point where it does reflect part of my personality, favorite colors and whatsoever. So yeah, I do spend a lot of time with any character creator as with any game and it results into characters that I actually do like. And I had this one occasion where I had my glaive here and I thought to myself, oh my God, I really don't like the way that she looks. And therefore I didn't really enjoy playing her. I changed the look and tweaked it just a little bit. Gave her a new outfit for about 10, maybe 15K. I guess what? I was like, oh, now I want to play this character. I'm dumb like that, but I'm not sure. Is there anybody like me that has this thing? It must be something that I have. But once again, if I look at my gems, they're all over the place. Now, technically, what I ended up doing is get level 9 gems on most of my most valuable skills because this gets you a little bit less gay kept and it ups your damage by just a little bit to get you onto the MVP screen here and there, making me happy because yes, my ego needs a little bit uplifting here and there as well. But level 10 gems aren't necessary there. So here's another one of my characters that sneaked in a level 10 gem for a reason where I tried not to get gay cat. And guess what? This is a remaining energy character. But hey, if most people see a death blade, see a level 10 gem, they might assume surge. But if you look a little bit further, you will find, oh my God, these are remaining energy skills. <laughs> okay, so for the unlookers, 
great, you found it, but there are some people that haven't gatekept this character, even though this one only has five engravings, not even a five by three by one. And it kind of shows with my previous character, because this one, if I look at my gems, it only has event gems. This character is one of the most gay-kept characters within my full roster. Now, it probably has another reason, because it got very low HP, even with the event buff. But yeah, haven't upgraded the stone just yet, because guess what? In tier 4, the stone is going to be useless. Luckily, I got one of these other ones laying in my inventory, so I am okay. I could be thinking about these 8,000 hours and summarize it within one thing. I try to emphasize fun the most. Do I play my characters the way that they should be played at the highest possible angle in terms of damage? No. This character is definitely one of the prime examples. If I look, for instance, at the Full Moon Soul Eater, I don't go for the charge modes on both my Vestige and Reaper site. Now, if I play this character, do I still get MVPs? Yes, I still get MVPs. Do I do a little bit less damage? Yes, but do I enjoy the class way more than when I do with the holding skills? Prime example is the Surge Death Blade and the earlier Death Blade remaining energy. I did not like those classes and I would not have liked the, this class in particular if it would have been stuck into the holdings. That is probably the way how I got through these 8,000 hours. That and a little bit of FOMO here and there. But what I am most curious about, ladies and gentlemen, what did you guys think? What did you guys see? But most important, how many hours did you guys play? And what does that translate to your roster level, your account, and all of the eye levels that you got on your character? And the biggest question, are you still having fun? And if not, what could you do to increase that fun once again? What brought you initially to this game to reignite that little bit that you had? Because I had to sit down and ask these same questions to myself along the way of these 8,000 hours. I hope that brought a little bit of light and positivity to, let's say, the Lost Ark community for only just a little bit. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.